back to the Vanity Chair, Shay. Today I'm going to be talking about my July favorites, so I'm just going to talk about some makeup products I've been loving over this past month, and that way you guys can try them out if you're looking for some new fun makeup to try, and please comment below with your favorite products for this last month too, because I love to try out new stuff you guys tell me about. It's always fun, so let's just hop right in. Alright you guys, the first thing I definitely need to mention is the Shimmering Skin Perfector and Champagne Pop from Becca. This is just a highlighter. Um, it is Becca and Jaclyn Hill that teamed up to make this this last month, I believe. I bought a backup. It's that good. So if you guys haven't bought this, definitely go into Sephora and check it out. I would just say to buy it because it's amazing. I think it looks pretty on everybody. It's $38, which is a little steep for a highlighter, but it's literally so like, it's a powder, but it's literally, something weird happened with my throat. Did you hear that? It's a powder, but it's literally so like creamy feeling that you need to like, how I do it is I take a highlighter brush and I literally like just dab and go in because it's so pigmented. You don't need barely any. It's so pretty. I love this stuff. So it's kind of a goldy hue. If you guys already have opal, opal's more pink. And if you have moonstone, moonstone's more of like a silvery white, if that makes sense. So this is kind of nice because it's still good on fair people and even darker skin tones because it has that gold undertone in it. So it's just so pretty. I absolutely love it. Let me just swatch it for you guys, even though it's on me. Um, just to show you like on my finger. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's so pretty. And I've been putting it like on my nose, cheekbones, as an inner corner highlight on my eyes, everywhere. I just want to like swim around in it. It's so pretty. I feel like I've never been this excited about a highlighter before. I love it. So definitely check that out. Also, I forgot to let you guys know that is limited edition. So really try to get your hands on it before it's sold out because I'm really surprised there's any still left on Sephora.com. Okay, next is MAC Mineralized Blushes. I actually talked about Warm Soul, which is this shade. It's kind of like a bronzy brown shade. I talked about that in my last month favorites just because I've been loving these blushes. They're so pretty. Um, this one's dainty. It's more pink. But they have a bunch of different blushes, um, colors. They're $27 at MAC. They're a baked blush. So they go on really sheer, but you can build it up really easy too. So you can wear it a few different ways, which I really like. And I really like these on all different people because they have like that sheen shimmer to them, but they're not glittery. I really like them on anyone from, you know, 15 years old to more mature women because even on more mature women, it gives them just a nice pretty glowy look. It doesn't give them like that glittery over the top. You know, a lot of more mature women like a matte finish because it doesn't accentuate fine lines and things like that. Where this, you can still wear that and it just looks pretty and glowy and makes you look nice and youthful and stuff without being like, oh, I have glitter all over my cheeks. So anyways, I've really been loving those. Check those out. You guys are perfect for summer especially. The next thing I want to talk about is Vanilla Pigment from MAC. I just have a little size to go one just because these pigments, they're like loose eyeshadows if you aren't familiar with pigments. It's just like a loose eyeshadow. So um, anyways, a little goes a long way. The other pigments are a lot bigger. They're more like, this is a really old one, but they come more like in a big jar. And you don't even need that because this is going to last me forever. So just get the $10 one if you want to try it out. But anyways, this is Vanilla. This is, I'm going to get close to show you. This is what's all over my lid in that front area. And it's just an oldie but goodie. I've had this for so long, but I've been using it a bunch this last month all over the lid. It's also really pretty as a brow bone highlight, inner corner highlight. You can even use this as a facial highlight. It's just really pretty. And you can use it without getting it wet, which I'll show you what that looks like. So you can just uh, like use it normal. Or if you want, you can get your brush wet with Fix Plus, which is what I did on my lid. So I took the facial spray from MAC Fix Plus and squirt my brush, dip it in that pigment, and then apply it. And it just makes it so much more metallic and pretty. And since it's a loose eyeshadow, it helps it not fall all over your face when you're putting eyeshadow on. So really been loving that. And I just wanted to mention it. It's an oldie but goodie. The next thing I want to talk about is a brush, actually. This is a Large Angled Contour F40 from Sigma. I can't remember the price off the top of my head, so I will leave it right down here. But um, it's not even really this, I mean, this brush is great, but it's not even this particular brush that I wanted to talk about. It's just the shape. So MAC has one. I'm sure a bunch of different companies have them. But this is like an angled blush brush. You can also contour with it, which is what I wanted to talk about today is what I've been doing is just using it as my contour brush and just keeping a really like strict motion, not being all over the place, just really going like this. And it kind of gives you those cheekbones without having to buy like the NARS Eater brush or something like that. So I thought it was a great alternative and it's a little softer than using something like the NARS Eater brush, which if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. 
because this brush is $55, but it's really popular for contouring because of that skinny shape. It's really easy to go in there and like carve your cheekbones out. But this is just a little bit of a cheaper alternative, so I wanted to throw that out there, and it's really nice for bronzer in the summer. The next thing I wanted to talk about is liquid lipstick from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I've never used these. I know they're super popular, but I own all the Stila liquid lipsticks and some Sephora ones and um, some drugstore ones, so at some point I'm just like, okay, I can't buy every brand's liquid lipstick, you know what I mean? But I've been just hearing so many good things about these, so I decided to try one, and I got the shade Pure Hollywood, which is just a nice nude color. And I've been wearing this non-stop. I'm not wearing it today because I'm going to work and we don't sell it at my work. So, you know, I try to not wear things that aren't for sale at my work. But here's the color. It's really pretty. And I just like these. They didn't totally dry out my lips, which is nice. A lot of liquid lipsticks will dry out my lips because I have super chapped lips to begin with. But yes, I've been like stocking the Anastasia section at um, the mall I work at to try to get the new colors because she just came out with a bunch of summer colors. And they're like, no, we'll come get you, Shaylee. We'll come get you. We know you're waiting for them. But I've been like stocking it because I want a couple of the new shades that are coming out. And for some reason, my store hasn't gotten them yet. So anyways, these are really nice. Try them out. Once again, I don't remember the price and I would look it up for you guys, but I'm on my way out to work. I don't really have time, so I'll link it right down here when I edit this video. Next is also from Anastasia. This is her new Couture eyeshadow kit. So if you guys don't know about her eyeshadow palettes, Anastasia's, they're always so cheap. It's like 12 eyeshadows for $30, and they're just so pretty. She actually has single shadows now. So I was reading five of these 12 are sold singly. So if you don't get your hands on this since it is limited edition, you know, just check out her single shadows. Those are great too. But I just always feel like it's such a good price. $30 for 12 eyeshadows. All of her shadows are so pretty too. So this comes with a bunch of different finishes. I like how it has a lot of neutrals. It has some matte browns, a matte highlight, and then it has a shimmer highlight. It has a nice black, which you always want in a palette. But then it has fun pops too, like um, Heirloom, this purple, and Azure. Azure? Am I going to say that wrong? It's that blue. Anyways, it has a lot of pretty pops of color and neutral, which I love in a palette because then you could do more with it. And this pink champagne color is so pretty. Once again, I'm not wearing this because I'm going to work and we don't sell it there, but I've been wearing that pink champagne color a lot as my all over lid shade. It's really beautiful. So check that out because it's limited. So lastly, I wanted to talk about the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. This is all over the internet also, but I kept hearing how great this was, so I went ahead and picked it up. I saw it on Sephora.com and they had this starter kit. So typically this bottle, which is eight ounces is $24, but they had this for $24 plus you get a free tin to clean your brushes in. So I thought might as well get it when you get like the free little thing to go with it. So I thought this would be great for doing, um, cleaning your brushes in between clients, like when I'm doing more than one person at a time. But I tried it out on my own brushes first and it's amazing. You pour a little bit of the product in this tin and then you swirl your brush in there and it's pretty cool. Like the product just like falls out. It's really great brush cleaner. But then I set that brush down and then I went to use it again with concealer. I cleaned off my foundation brush, went to use it again. And I started coughing horribly because this smells so bad. Like it's just, it's not a horrible smell I don't think. It's just so chemically. It's like, it smells clean. But then when you go to put it by your face, it's just so strong that it just makes you cough. So I don't recommend for using it in between clients if you're going to need those brushes before they're, before you have like a half hour to let them dry. But if you have like brushes that are really gross and really need deep cleaning, that stuff's awesome. So I did want to mention that. All right, you guys, that was all my favorite products for the month of July. And then I did just want to say one more thing. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of you guys who congratulated me on getting engaged. If you didn't know, I got engaged um, June 27th. So it was actually the end of last month. But um, yeah, I was wearing my ring in a few videos. And then I made an Instagram post. And a bunch of you guys were like, telling me congratulations, which was so cool, and I just felt so happy and blessed and excited, and I'm just really excited and happy, if you can't tell. Um, me and my fiance, I keep almost saying boyfriend, I really need to fix that, but after so long of calling someone your boyfriend, it's really hard to switch it. So anyways, we've been dating six and a half years, so I knew it was coming, and we live together and all that stuff, we talk about it all the time, so I never thought he'd be able to surprise me, and he totally did, so it was really cool, and it was just really exciting and it was cool to share that with you guys and have you guys tell me such nice stuff. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Thank you for saying congratulations. You guys are so awesome and yeah, I'll see you guys soon.